Kovel's already a better YouTuber than I am, and she's only been on the camera for like three minutes. Assalamu alaikum! Hi everybody, welcome back to my page, Hot Mess Express Tutorials. If this is your first time here, then we're just figuring it out one video at a time. If this is not your first video here, then thanks for coming back. Today I have a super special guest. This is my lovely and feisty friend, Kovel. <laughs> Hi guys! Glad to be here. <laughs> She's going to be doing my makeup today and also she has a page coming to you soon. <laughs> I'm super excited to be doing her makeup today. I'm, I'm not as good as her, so like, no, please, that's, like you will be, if you're disappointed, just don't tell me. <laughs> that's very much lies. Super lies right there. I know she's actually very good at doing makeup and she's actually done my makeup before. I'll see if I can try to find some pictures and post them on here. So here, it's blah, blah, right here. These are pictures. It's super hot. I don't know if you can see how red my face is right now. Also, my camera's gonna die already, and I don't know why. She's gonna be doing my makeup and her whole makeup routine. She's gonna be using some of her makeup as well as some of my makeup. Let's get started in three, two, one. First, we're gonna start off with, you're, you're really gonna take this over. So first, I like to start my makeup routine with my Topshop Pure One Step. Camilla Cleansing Oil. It's a two-in-one. It's absolutely amazing. I personally have super sensitive skin, so all of the products that I use on um, a daily that I'm gonna be showing you guys, they're all great for sensitive skin. I don't know if my skin is really all that sensitive, but my heart is. If you have uh, makeup already on your face, I would suggest two pumps of this. Otherwise, one pump is perfect. Oh, this feels so nice. I've actually never used this product before, so I'm really excited that you let me try it. Now, it's a two-in-one, right? So I just rubbed a cleansing oil all over her face. That's gonna remove all of the dirt, all of the oils, or the bad oils, and then it's going to remove any excess makeup that she might have had. But, and I'm gonna have to walk away for this one. So I have just wet my hands, because this is a two-in-one cleanser. So it is an oil that when wet, to do a cleanser. So watch. Uh, oh, I feel it. It feels so soapy. Yes! Kovel's already a better YouTuber than I am, and she's only been on the camera <laughs> for like three minutes. If you haven't seen the first Make Me Pretty video, here's a little segment of it. So we're gonna use Sex Kitten. Sounds like an eyeliner to me. <laughs> to me. Pretty embarrassing. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. Now I have a real hashtag fresh face. Next, we're gonna go for our moisturizer. Again, I have super sensitive skin, so I like to use products that I know I won't break out from. So I use uh, First Aid Beauty, their Ultra Repair Cream. It's safe for sensitive skin, no parabens, harsh chemicals, or collagens. So we're just gonna use two dime sizes. A lot of times, people will only put it in the T-zone, but I'm not about that one. After that, we're gonna go for our primer. Till now, I've only been using my products, now we are going to be using one of Vic's products. This is the Urban Decay Complexion Primer. It's like starting to rub off. Uh, soothing Rose Hip and Argan Oil, Pure Perfecting. There's words under that, then I can't see it anymore. But yeah, it's good for your pores. I'm very partial to certain brands, and Urban Decay is one of them. I've never used this one before, so I'm not sure exactly how much to use. I'm going to go for one pump. Yeah, you don't need too much. Now, do you usually use your hands or do you use a makeup spoon? I use my hands for this part. This is one thing that I like to do, especially if I want lasting wear, and I know a lot of people don't do it, but I do. Most setting sprays are primers and they're setting sprays. So I will use primers, but then I will actually also do this as well. And I tried this once on a whim, and it worked out great. My makeup did not crease at all for like the entire day. So actually, Gerard Cosmetics, their setting sprays are in different colors or scents. So the green one specifically is um, green tea ginger. Next, I'm gonna color correct. All I'm gonna do is use the Naked Skin by Urban Decay to get rid of any darkness under the eyes. So I became interested in makeup probably around middle school. Um, I always thought it was really cool. Um, I have an older cousin um, who's actually a professional makeup artist. Um, she worked for MAC for a very, very long time. I think seeing her originally, like, you know, 
it was funny because she would always, with one of our other childhood friends, like they would sit me down and they would like do my hair and do my makeup. Like I was like the little like the guinea pig, or you know I was the guinea pig. But they would tell me, oh, you're just like the little doll that we're gonna dress up to make me feel better. <laughs> so that was the first time makeup was on my face, and I was in elementary school. Okay. And then the first time that I did makeup on my own face was middle school. So I'm about to use um, Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation by Tarte. Again, one of my favorite companies. They're vegan, great for your skin. Um, and this is in light neutral. So one thing that I forgot to do, bad on me, is before I use my foundation, I actually use illuminating drops. My favorite is from Cover FX. It's the Moonlight. Uh, normally, I put that under the foundation. I kind of forgot to do that with Vic just now. So I put on a little less than I normally do over her foundation. And then what I'm going to do to make sure that, you know, we don't have any spotting um, or anything like that, I'm going to put a little bit of foundation right onto the sponge. I'm just going to go over it. I love a glowy look. Foundations are so tricky. It's hard to really find your natural color. I always make sure to go over a little bit on the ear and I cover her neck too. All right, how are you feeling so far? Really great. Glad that we're using your foundation because none of my foundations match my face and I look like a Oompa Loompa in all of them. What is next? So we're going to go into the contour, um, which includes the concealer. It has a perfect contour palette on Anastasia, so might as well just use that. My brush just broke. Normally for these, like I don't normally use these, I have separate brushes for such contour and concealer products. Um, like, you know, ones that are really creamy. And I use the ones from Real Techniques. So, from one to 10, how would you rate yourself as a makeup artist? I mean, like for you, like doing For your... me, okay. I would say I'm probably a six. Have you ever had any makeup training or classes? The way that I actually met Vic is that we were in theater together. Although I never took any makeup classes really, um, I did have a little basic training from my TD. TD there. means technical director. Yes, I'm so sorry. So the technical director there, his name's Mo Khan. He's absolutely amazing. Uh, so he kind of showed me the ropes uh, to the point where I was actually helping you know, um, backstage a lot for the different events that were going on or, you know, the plays and shows and I was just helping people out and it's kind of just trial and error. Minus my cousin, like I get a lot of tips from her. And so normally when I contour the nose, I try to make the line really, really thin and as close to the top as possible and then straight line out. So there's kind of like a half triangle look on the tip of the nose. Even though I'm looking into the camera, um, into the little monitor of the camera. I don't have my glasses on, so I literally have no idea what this looks like. <laughs> One thing I do also that most, that, well, I would say some people don't, is that when you guys saw, I'm gonna turn your face a little bit. You can't, you kinda can't see it now. But when I uh, was doing her contour, I go um, right into that under part of the cheekbone, but then I actually take the line down this yeah, I way. I felt that. Normally, they only do that for guys like to give them like that sharper like cheekbone. But for someone like me who has a very round face, it really helps like contour everything out. And if you're doing your own makeup, what I found really helps is if you look and then you tilt your head down, you'll see your natural shadows and that'll be exactly where you put your lens. Another thing you'll notice that I do is when I'm doing, um, you know, when I'm trying to get that really nice contour, I'm actually pressing and I'm, I'm, I'm dabbing, but I'm dabbing as up in a kind of like upward motion so that you can kind of really get under your cheekbone. This is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. She had it upside down and I was like, oh God. I am actually going to use the same makeup liner I've been using. I guess we get it really good in there and then you're gonna dab off any excess. Now this is the part where I actually, I need you to look straight because when you're setting under your eyes particularly, if you look up, if you blink, if you look down, it's going to create lines in your makeup. And if you do it right, you'll actually feel like it get a little stiff underneath, in my opinion. So normally I bake for about at least five minutes. Do not bake for like more than eight because that pow it will just be like that. It's just gonna stay. And then you're gonna look like you're a ghost. We don't want that, or do we? I'll creep up on all the guys that have been ghosting me like, 
What up, bitches? Okay, so we're gonna set a timer. Ta da! Five minutes has gone by. Next, I'm gonna go in with a powder contour. For this, I am going to use a Kat Von D shade and light palette. Again, I'm gonna go under that cheekbone and then I'm gonna go down a little bit. And then for added contour, because I like to do a contour, but I don't wanna make it too obvious. So for bronzer, I have the NYX Beauty School Dropout Palette. It has pretty much everything that you need in it. It's my go-to for when I'm traveling. But we're gonna use the bronzer here in the corner. I do not go over all of the places that I did with the powder. I'm only gonna go right here, as kind of far back, and again, pushing in and up, in and up, over here by the ear. So, next, I'm gonna go for the blush. I'm going to be using Tarte, and this one's mine. I'm gonna be using the Tarte Parte. I like to do the apples of the cheeks. I know some people feel like their apples are really big, so they only do the top part. So, how do you feel about your apples, Vic? However you wanna make me pretty is how I want it done. So I'm gonna go over the top part. I'm trying to get enough on there without overdoing it. This is an Ofra highlighter. It is called Rodeo Drive and it is gold. During some Korean contours, we'll do this, where they dab a little bit of blush on the tip of the nose to give it a natural, like, rosy look. And so what I'm gonna do right now is I am going to be using Smashbox's Photo Finish Primer Water. It's one of my favorite set and finishing sprays. Um, I like this one because it gives a more glowing look. The finishing, the setting spray um, or primer spray that we used earlier was mattifying. So I kind of, which I don't, don't normally do, I usually this, use this one before and after, but I felt like, especially with how hot it is, that the one underneath I wanted to be kind of mattifying. Even though I put a hydrating foundation on top, it still gives that glowy look. But I don't. I want it to be glowy, not oily. Probably my favorite part. The part that really scares me, but the part that's also my favorite. Eyeshadow! This is my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which she's much better at talking. She's going to go back. Oh my god, it's so true! <laughs> I've actually used this primer in the past, but the packaging was different. So this is actually new, this is very new to me. So we're gonna let that set for like a quick second. Vic actually has no idea what eyeshadow I'm moving on. She has no idea the style, no nothing. All I told her is that it was gonna be a little edgy. The first one is the Morphe Dare to Create 39A palette. Another one of the palettes we're gonna be using is the Saharan 2 palette by Juvia's Place. So I really like to say Anastasia Beverly Hills as fast as I can. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Isn't that fun? So I'm gonna go in with the Morphe palette first. Um, I, oh, I like to do kind of like my base colors. Like I like to do base colors first. Um, generally, even in particular for this one, it's gonna be really neutral colors. I am going to go in with Bear. Next, I'm gonna go in with Canvas. Next, I'm going in with Passion from the same palette. I'm going to end up using the Kat Von D uh, Lock It In Concealer. Have you ever thought about going to cosmetology school? I have not considered ever going to cosmetology school. I have considered taking like classes uh, for makeup, mm -hmm. um, but I don't want to specifically go to cosmetology school. Like That's not my passion. And we're going to go in with this pretty red color right in the center. I'm gonna go over it with Snatched from Morphe. Another reason why I'm so reluctant to do other people's makeup is is because like people are like, oh they compliment my makeup, but I mess up like 10, 20 times. She's part of the hot mess fam. Okay, from that same Morphe palette, I'm just going in with the Muse, which is a black. Not really turning out how I was expecting. But we're gonna go into the crease of her eye as best we can because we know her her eyes aren't necessarily the same, but that's okay, that's most people. And so we're gonna go in with the Liquid Moon Dust Eyeshadow by Urban Decay. This is Kat Von 
Blondie and Trooper is the tattoo liner. Vic, you want to tell the viewers what was happening in your car when we were driving home? At Taco Bell for the first time in four years. And while I was eating my burrito, Cobble was putting the sauce on it like a great friend. Fun tip! Curl your lashes before you put mascara on. I had a friend rip off all of her lashes on one of her eyes because she put mascara on and then curled them. Comments express tip, oh my god, that's awful! Do I make up on me and I mess up a few times, but knock on wood, alhamdulillah, it looks bomb. So pro tip, or what I like to do, is I go back and I put a little bit of glue on the outside and inside of it. Wonderland by Something London. Siate? Something like that. It's so we're going to be using scone, brow wand, eyebrow pencil, and chocolate. I like to do like as natural as possible when it comes to eyebrows. So I don't do like that whole like... Insta brow? Yeah, I don't do that. Last thing for the night is lips, and I will be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm currently mixing two colors together because her eyes did not turn out as red as I wanted. That's as good as we're going to get it because it's way too hot and both of our makeup is melting off. Ooh! I guess as long as she likes it, that's all that matters. Edgy, pretty cool. It's black and I like that. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and in the future you can subscribe to Covel. Follow me at the Fabius Non Fob on Instagram and in the future, you too. I'm an ABCD, but the C is silent because I ain't confused. <laughs> there you go, if you know what that means, otherwise you can urban dictionary it. If you like these segments, the Make Me Pretty segments, then please suggest it down in the comments down below. Make sure that you also share this to your friends and so that they see Kobo's beautiful face too. Also, you can subscribe to me on social media. That's Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. And Kobo will tell us our big Hot Mess Express tip of the day. Hot Mess Express tip of the day. Try everything before you use it. You need to try your mascaras, you need to try your eyeshadows, you need to try your foundations, you need to try everything, whether you're doing your makeup or somebody else's. Awesome. I hope to see you guys in the next one. All right, bye guys.